to On February 6, at 3.45 Eastern Standard Time, seven years of planning, development, and delays finally paid off when SpaceX launches Falcon Heavy rocket. The test launch of a must-anticipated Falcon Heavy delivered Elon Musk's Tesla Roadster and a dummy nicknamed Starman on a trajectory that will take it near Mars before entering an orbit around the Sun. Both of the side boosters successfully returned to Earth and landed simultaneously. Unfortunately, the center core did not land properly due to a rocket malfunction. Overall, the launch was still a big win for the company. But this successful launch provokes an important question. What's next for Elon Musk and SpaceX? The immediate plan for SpaceX is to stockpile Falcon 9s and Falcon Heavies for their customers. This is so they can focus on their really big project, the BFR. The Falcon Heavy was definitely exciting, but the BFR is looking to be the real groundbreaker at SpaceX. This is the rocket that Musk is planning to send people to Mars with. That's right, to Mars. Musk first introduced the plans for the current iteration of the BFR at the International Astronautical Congress in September 2017. Sense of, of rocket capability, starting off at the low end with the Falcon 1 at a half ton, and then going up to BFR at 150. So it, I think it's important to note that the BFR uh, has more capability than Saturn V, um, even with full reusability. But, but here's, the, here's the really, really important fundamental point. Let's look at the launch cost. The, the, order, the order reverses. This rocket is meant to make the Falcon 9, the Falcon Heavy, and the Dragon obsolete. It is by far SpaceX's biggest project to date. SpaceX has showed off BFR's potential for Earth-to-Earth -Earth transportation. The plan will make a trip from New York to Shanghai take only 39 minutes. With the Earth-to-Earth -Earth system, you could go anywhere in the world in under an hour. But even this ambitious project pales in comparison to BFR's second use in the interplanetary transport system. In this system, the BFR's booster would land back on Earth after propelling the ship to Mars. SpaceX currently plans to use this strategy to launch two BFRs to Mars in 2022 and four more in 2024. We'll explain the dynamics of the BFR at a later time, but here's a quick run through. The BFR is going to be 106 meters long, in contrast to the Falcon Heavy's 70 meters. The spaceship consists of two parts, the booster and the ship. The ship is 48 meters long and has a maximum ascent payload of 150 tons. The ship has four main components, the engines, the propellant tanks, the payload, and a delta wing for stabilization based off of payload weight and atmospheric conditions. When the BFR goes to Mars, its payload will have 40 cabins and large common areas to hold passengers. The ship's propellant tanks will be designed to make refueling possible. After the launch, Musk reaffirmed his confidence in SpaceX's ability to create the BFR in the post-launch press conference. But most of our engineering resources will be dedicated to uh, BFR, and, uh, and so I think that, that will make things go quite quickly. However, SpaceX's timeline may be overly optimistic. It wouldn't be unprecedented for SpaceX to run into some unexpected problems. You know, they, we, we try to cancel the Falcon Heavy program three times at SpaceX um, because it was like, man, this is way harder than we thought. Because um, the initial idea was just like, oh, you know, you stick on two, uh, you know, two first stages of side boosters. How hard can it be? It's like it's way hard. <laughs> After the BFR is exciting, it's something that would take several years to develop. SpaceX's more immediate plans are to stockpile their existing products so that they will be available to customers when SpaceX is focusing its resources on BFR. The success of the Falcon Heavy launch gives NASA and commercial space companies more mission options in the future. It's a new powerful tool for these organizations to utilize for further space exploration. The Falcon Heavy may also help to assemble the Deep Space Gateway NASA is planning to build in an area around the moon in the coming decade. The Falcon 9 will soon be receiving its final update before SpaceX's resources are focused on the BFR. The new Falcon 9s will feature increased payload, quicker re reusability, and longer reusability endurance. SpaceX will continue their work on the Dragon 2.0, also known as the Crew Dragon. The first manned test flight for this vehicle could happen as early as 2018. This version of Dragon would carry astronauts to the ISS and could have various future uses. Elon told the press that he started to prioritize the Crew Dragon back in February over the Falcon 9 Block 5. Yeah, you know, we're making great progress on Crew Dragon, uh, or Dragon version 2. The, the priority used to be uh, Falcon 9 Block 5, 
And then a month ago, I said absolute priority is Crew Dragon. So it's all hands on deck for Crew Dragon. SpaceX also has plans to send two unnamed individuals in a slingshot around the moon later in 2018 using either the Falcon Heavy or the BFR. This will help to further SpaceX's endeavors to make space tourism a viable funding option. In the post-launch press conference, Elon Musk made an eye-catching statement. So I think it's going to encourage other countries and companies to raise their sights and say, hey, we can do bigger and better, which is great. We won a new space race. Space races are exciting. <laughs> this illustrates Musk's sincere wish that humans become a multiplanetary species for whatever means necessary. So as Musk attempts to sp spark the next space race, we will continue to follow SpaceX and its counterparts through their long and winding journey to the Red Planet.